Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today we're going to have a look at a birthday present of mine. It was my birthday sometime in January. I was obviously 21. And um, I've always wanted to be able to um, carve little intricate things, spoons, that kind of thing. Back when I used to go camping a lot, I used to love the fact that I could just sit there and carve something, but I never had the right equipment. So I'd use a big Rambo kind of styly knife. There's only so much you can do that's intricate with a big knife. So I bought this. And this is a pack of potentially, hopefully, the tools that I'm going to need to be able to pursue this little hobby. Let's have a look. Let's get on. Okay, before we get into the nitty gritty of this, this, this cost Crystal about between 15 and 20 pounds. She didn't tell me, but that's how much they are on um, eBay for the same sort of thing. They're not expensive, expensive. They're not cheap if you don't have the money, but they are not uh, bank breaking amounts. Um, they're all pretty similar, the ones that are in that price bracket, darker handles, possibly better blades. I'm not entirely sure how good this is. As you can see, it hasn't even come out of the packaging yet. Um, they come with a pair of free, apparently, high performance cut level 5 gloves. I may test that because I won't be using these for myself. I think they'd be a bit more of a hindrance than a help. You know, I think having those on would actually make it a lot harder to do any of it. But let's have a look at these individually now. Okay, so these are the gloves we spoke about. Um, let's have a little look. You'd hope that they'd have some Kevlar in them or something. We might have to do some tests on these. Put a little piece of wood in or something and give them a chop. I'm not sure they feel too safe, but they are tight as hell. Now I've got quite big hands, but they are very tight. What we do is we'll have a look at each one and then I'll see how nice and sharp they are and how comfortable they are, etc. Okay, this is the scoop, the spoon one. It looks okay. Feels okay in the hand. Um, I will keep these bits. Oh, there, that. That doesn't really do much. I might actually make a few little cases for these out of wood so it just slips on there and just possibly like a neodymium magnet or something just to hold it there. That is literally razor sharp. Taking bits of my skin off. That is really, really sharp. I hope it's nice enough st uh, like metal to stay sharp as well. I'd be very disappointed if not. Again, razor sharp. Very nice feel actually. Oh, a couple of other things then. We've got a strop, which is a nice thick piece of leather. And we have some sharpening compound, I believe. Okay, so I've got a nice piece of driftwood, which I've used for various projects. And I'm just gonna test it out. And, you know, I'm hoping that they're sharp enough. And I know I'm not gonna be able to gouge much out, but no, I don't wanna use this because because it's so flaky, I don't want to accidentally slip. That would make a really, well, it would make a good video, but probably not, not very easily monetizable. Yeah, this these things are absolutely razor sharp. Okie dokie. Okay. 
yeah this this one's got a nice amount of um sort of detail you can get into it right what i'm thinking of doing is finding a bit of driftwood that isn't quite so dry if i've got any because i've got no other um seasoned wood in the house i don't think and then i think i might try and make a um a little spoon let's have a look So, the cheapest pack on eBay, can it make a spoon? Yes. Did it do very well? No, but I think that's user error rather than the tools. They worked okay. You know, I've got no, no issues with them at all. Put them down before I cut my face. Um, yeah, I've got no issues with them at all. Um, I found that the scoop was a bit of a bit rough around the edges. Um, I dropped it a little bit and it was much better. But, you know, they are under 20, 20 pounds, which is well under $20. And um, they work really nice. That You know, um, the spoon's not the greatest thing in the world, but it, it'll do, you know. Now I can eat my porridge, what I've been waiting for. So would I recommend them? If you're going out camping, um, setting your own shelter, whatever, and it's a wet day, you've gone out, you've got all the firewood, and you don't really want to get soaking wet again, perfect thing to do. You know, sit there, whittle yourself out a little spoon or chess pieces or whatever, and it gives you something to do. And there's something about carving that's unlike most other things. You can turn your brain off. You focus completely on what you're doing and not on anything else. Um, I don't get that sort of that relaxation from anything else. I'm always thinking about other things except carving. So I really enjoy just sitting there, carving, making my thing. So yes, I would recommend these for, these were about 11 pounds, I think. Uh, as I say, I'm still, I still don't 100% know, um, but I think they were around 11, 12 pounds, something like that. So they're well worth it, you know. Um, I'm not sure how many times I'll be able to sharpen them or strop them or whatever um, before they start showing their cheap price range. So far I've made one spoon and I'm sure I'll be able to make a lot more before there's any issues at all. So yes, I would highly recommend them. Anyway, don't forget, like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.